Good morning, everyone. This is the face of an absolutely destroyed human being. <laughs> so, <coughs> I'm in my van, and we are officially on our way to Oregon. We are done with Montana. And to be honest, I don't feel like, I just don't feel like I did as much stuff in Montana as I had hoped I was gonna do, or, or that I wanted to do. Like, I didn't go do nature stuff at all. Basically, I was able to work out, I just hung out. Like, it was a nice, like, relaxing, good time. But I certainly did not, you know, get like a full Montana experience. Um, so, anyways, today, yesterday was the last day of the festival it was so much fun um but i'm tired <laughs> i'm you know all these things i i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to get on the road today but i did we i just bit the bullet packed up my stuff so it's about an 11 hour drive from where i am to the eugene area and Um, and that's where I'm headed. So I do have a friend who's playing a show in Jacksonville, Oregon, which is, which tomorrow night, I think, which is about two hours outside of Eugene. So I think something like that. Um, so anyways, I'm considering going to Jacksonville first, going to watch my friend's show and then heading to Eugene. But I already have to work in like five days. So the time goes by so fast. <laughs> so basically, maybe four days. I don't know. I gotta I gotta look. All right, so I'm still in Bend, and um, it's so hot. It's like 84 degrees here, and I know it's a lot hotter in other parts of the country, and people are actually like suffering because of it. So I don't want to complain, but it is hot. My car's blowing basically hot air on me. Um, but there is so much traffic here. I am so overwhelmed. So I ended up leaving the gym and going to Whole Foods because I was so hungry. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get a workout in. Plus, I'm gonna be honest, I was absolutely fucking dreading the fact that the parking lot was 100% full um, because uh, because I knew then the gym was gonna be full and the shower situation was gonna be full and all this stuff. So um, I went to Whole Foods, went to get something to eat and I just have been hanging out there but I'm just gonna head straight, um, straight to Jaylena's. I was like, can I please shower in your bus when I get there? Because I just, I don't have it in me, all this traffic. Like I, I can't believe, I did not think it was gonna be this busy. I had no idea because when I was here in the winter, it was not like this. It's obviously like, because it's summer. Um, I mean, I'll have to ask Isaac and Jaylena, but it was not like this when I was here in winter. So yeah, I'm super overwhelmed um, with all the people and the traffic. I practically feel like I'm back in New York with all the traffic. So I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm gonna lose service for sure once I get into the mountains. I need gas too. It's a two hour drive from here. So oh, I feel good about my decision. I do just wanna go relax. Um, I think I should have probably bought more stuff to make food with, but also I have to go to work in a couple of days. I have to fly out on the 21st, um, so I'm not gonna get to go to the premiere of the Barbie movie, I'm very sad. Or opening night of the Barbie movie, I mean, but. Good morning from the van. Oh, I just woke up. So my voice is still groggy, plus I think my voice is still gone from this weekend, but. I'm in Oregon, and let's see if you can see out my window. I'm in Oregon, and I'm at, um, I'm with Isaac and Jelena, 
it's still early. I think they're awake. Their bus door is open, but I was just laying in bed for a long time. I let my hair air dry last night, which I never let my hair air dry because it doesn't look as good as when it is blow dried, but I did not have the energy to blow dry it yesterday. But yesterday, I'm wearing this dress I got last year. Um, I wore it to bed. <laughs> It's not meant to and it has this tie in the back So it's not like comfortable to sleep on so I literally just untied it and slept and it was kind of funny I think I'm gonna make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna make some tea and some oatmeal and then um, I'm gonna put some blueberries in my oatmeal so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not like a huge oatmeal fan but oatmeal's good for you. And when I'm at home in Minnesota, I make fresh gluten-free oats like in a pot. Um, they're not instant, but because of being a flight attendant, I tend to do the instant ones. Um, so that's what I have. And I haven't used my stove in a hot minute, but I'm gonna today. And a lot of people commented on my last, on one of the videos I just put up about my stove and the struggles I've been having with my stove. And, and everybody was saying that basically I should be able just to light it the same as I did my propane stove with the lighter. That way I don't have to worry about the button falling off, which um, I... I'm very appreciative for that advice and I might try it. I don't know if I'm going to try it today. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like anything that has to do with fire scares the crap out of me. Okay, Jaylena asked me if I wanted to do one of her workouts. There's no gym anywhere near here. So the closest gym is like 43 minutes away. Um, so I don't have a lot of workout options. And as you know, I've been trying to do like a certain workout plan. And, um, oh, I should have got, I should have got butane while I was in town. It was a bad move on my part. I didn't realize how low I was. Um, but yeah, so Jaylena's doing a workout plan and she has dumbbells so I'll probably just do her plan with her in my mind working out is working out like yeah I have my um, specific plan I'm trying to do but I'd rather do anything than do nothing so I'm very happy to I'm very excited to try her workout um, with her so I'm gonna need to eat before I do that so I still have my towels hanging out for my shower I was so sweaty by the time I got here last night. I was begging them for a shower in their big bus and they let me have one. And it was nice because we turned the propane off and just took a cold shower um, because it was so hot. And it was quite literally amazing. The drive is just not having air conditioning. I used to have air conditioning, but the other thing is when you're driving up and down the mountains, it's hard to use the air conditioning anyways because you don't want the engine to overheat. So, I have so much laundry to do too. So today's the only day I'm really here. Tomorrow I already have to drive into Eugene and do laundry. Um, that's pretty much it. I just have to do laundry before I go to the airport and then I have to fly out the next morning to go to work. So, sad, hardly get to be here. Oh, so nice out. Got a little peach out there. Oh, hi.
live, right? And, and so I'm fully on, on the same train here with you that, that can have a very detrimental side. Now the easiest thing that people can do, the best water clearly is spring water that's tested. EFOS is in many things. One of the busy, biggest exposures of a forever chemical is coming from the tap water. Not to mention astrazine, other of the water. Uh, and now you've just eliminated tons of exposure to chemical. Good morning, everyone. I'm coming to you from a layover. I was about to open my window for light. Five in the morning, there isn't any light. Um, I'm in Denver, Colorado. So I'm on this layover and <sighs> this layover was 20 hours. And, um, and I have like five hours left of it. Um, I'm about to go to the gym and I don't know, I felt compelled to start vlogging. I haven't been to the gym in like 10 days and um, maybe more than that. It's like the thir July 13th was the last day I went, so it's been about two weeks almost. And I'm going today because I was building a really good habit and I just got a little off track and I'm just gonna go back and start again. I think that's just how it goes, but um, I haven't uploaded in so long. I'm so behind it. I um, am exhausted in life. I don't know. It's not even necessarily about I'm not getting enough sleep. I mean, I'm definitely not. But like last night I did and arguably the night before I did as well. And I'm just, I'm always exhausted. It's not tired. Um... I'm exhausted, it's life, it's my brain, it's physically, it's emotionally, it's like everything. Um, life is just, I'm going through one of those phases, well I've been going through it, I have talked about it a lot, where like, my life isn't what I want it to be right now. The problem is I don't know exactly what I would like to change, um, which is why I'm not changing anything. I don't know exactly how to change it in order to feed my soul properly um, but I'm but I'm struggling with that right now and it's hard to balance everything that I'm doing so when I'm working flying it's I'm not doing any of my other things and my other things make me more money <laughs> and so it's a constant struggle for me between like what I want to be doing and I'm always jet lagged, always exhausted. I am just, I don't know. I don't know that I'm depressed. I don't, I haven't had any big depression things since I gave up coffee. This is probably the closest thing, but I don't feel depressed. I'm just like a little like, I'm ready for a change. I just don't know what that change is. So anyways, that's what I'm going through. That's where I've been. Um, by the time you see this video, if this even goes in a video, I will have already had videos out. So it might not make as much sense, but I've been really MIA for at least two weeks, pretty much from the internet. So um, I'm trying to get back today, but I really, this layover, I was supposed to edit some YouTube videos um, and do some other stuff. I wanted to go see Barbie last night. I I have some stuff for the airline that I need to do. Like, I, I just, I have stuff. I can't just, like, lay in bed all day. Um, I don't have time for that. And... I've been doing that like every layover I have. The other day I had a New Orleans layover for 18 hours and I literally was in bed the entire 18 hours. And I didn't even sleep well. Like I was just laying there. Like maybe I am depressed. <laughs> My depression tends to manifest with not being able to get out of bed. It just doesn't feel like that I think because I'm not at home. So 
I'm not feeling the same as like if I couldn't get out of my own bed. But I don't know, as I'm describing it, maybe I am feeling like this depression again. I just don't want to think that the giving up caffeine isn't no longer working. Um, I don't know. Anyways, that's that. So I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm hoping that the gym will give me some endorphins. I'm up way earlier than I need to be today, but I have a late sign in for once in my life. Um, I normally am up at like 2.30 in the morning. It's 5.18. I've been up for like half an hour. Well, it's 5.28, so I've been up for like an hour just laying in bed. It's 5.30 and there's so many people in here. But look at the pool. It's an indoor pool. Maybe I'll go swimming. I just got done at the gym and while I was working out, I was watching Jaylena's video about selling her bus. And it was such a beautiful video. And I just like, just made me cry because I kept thinking about like, when I built my van and how much emotion goes into like every fiber, every nail, every, glue mark every bit of paint and like her and I were so similar in that we were going through something so emotionally traumatic at the time of building I like can't stop crying <laughs> but it's just like it's so beautiful and it's such a part of healing and it's so like this is why I can't get rid of my van because it's just such a part of literally who I am. It's like ingrained in like, in just every little emotion and bit of healing I had at the time and since then. And I'm just so proud of her for being able to sell it and let it go and be able to move on. She didn't cry one time in that whole video. <laughs> and I'm watching it like crying. Anyways. It was really beautiful. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. It's a really short video. And maybe it won't like mean as much to other people. Like maybe if you don't have that personal experience, you don't, like it just won't <laughs> hit you the same. <laughs> but I literally was doing the bicycle at the gym and I was like, I had to leave <laughs> because I was crying. Anyways, so <laughs> that's that. <laughs> Okay, well, let's stop crying and thinking about my traumatic past experiences. <laughs> if this has taught me anything, it's that I have a lot of healing left to do <laughs> on myself. <laughs> uh, which I've realized a couple of experiences I've had recently have really like brought attention to um, a lot of things within myself I need to work on and um, I'm craving like what I really want to do is go to like a meditation retreat or some kind of meditation yoga like I don't know just a stereotypical like spiritual wellness retreat um, you don't need to do a retreat to get on a wellness journey but I'm one of those people that I have a hard time doing it myself and my life is so chaotic some days I'm waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning and going to bed at 5 p.m. And some days, like today, I have extra time. So having like a consistent morning routine or like trying to jumpstart a new like habit is really difficult for me um, with this lifestyle because I thrive in, I thrive with routine and this lifestyle is very hard to have routine. Um, and even van life is very hard. Even if you're waking up at the same time every day, you're not waking up in the same place every day. You might not be able to exit your van in the morning, depending on like, you know, to do like yoga outside of your van or whatever. If you're in a Walmart parking lot, that's not really a feasible thing to do. 
And you don't want to do that everywhere you park in van life because you don't want to draw attention to van life and you taking advantage of free parking spots and ruin it for the rest of van life because you had to go do yoga in a parking lot somewhere. So anyways, um, I would like to go on some kind of retreat because I just want to do nothing but focus on, I want to learn how to do this breath work everybody speaks of and I've never meditated a single day in my entire life. I would like to start doing that. I just, I need to start doing something a little more healing. Right now I'm just nose diving into being so overwhelmed as I was talking about. So anyways, the working out has helped. I'm so glad I worked out today. Um, I'm really out of shape. Uh, today was more of a high intensity interval type. Um, I don't wanna say it was a hit training because it was weights, but it was like no rest, five, minute rounds you know just go 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 so anyways it was it was a good workout I actually liked it this program is called the busy girl workout and it's designed for um, very minimal equipment and it's designed to be oh the gym I wish I I think it's a new I don't know if it's new but I wish I knew about it before because it's designed for essentially if you picture like a busy planet fitness and all you have is a set of dumbbells and a bench if you can even get a bench but like do what you can with what you will like you can just go into a corner and do your workout in the corner and not have to move around the gym to all the different equipment I don't know what the results are gonna be as opposed to like lifting really heavy but um, the point is if you can't get a workout in and that's the workout you can do that's better than not getting a workout in in my opinion um and for me right now like yeah i want to do the bodybuilding thing which is seeming more and more out of reach and that's upsetting to me but i want to do the bodybuilding thing i want to be fit i just want to look good and feel good in my own body but also i want to feel good i want the endorphins from working out i feel like probably watching this you're gonna be able to see because I can feel a total difference in before working out and after like I'm just I'm more awake I have like my it's the endorphins it's that I feel good I did something good for myself today I I'm happy I am not regretful I feel really good um and I like that feeling and I want to keep that so I I'm really into these busy girl workouts today was just day one so we'll see how it goes um the rest of the time but I feel like happy about it, that's all. <laughs>